When I first heard that this game was in development, I was very excited. Not only have I played every single AFL game made going back to the PS1, but I also love Aussie rules, and I'm very glad that I get to share this special review with my fellow Australians. So give me a big thumbs up if you just love AFL football. The gameplay has taken a huge step forward compared to the last AFL games. In past game, all there really has been is kicking, marking and handballing, but now there is a huge range of tactics to be used which really gives you the real feeling that you're actually playing football. They have added features to this game such as being able to bump your opponents to take a great contested mark and also letting you choose your tactics, whether it's being able to lead for a mark or even running by for a quick handball to get the play moving. The controls are a little daunting to begin with and can be pretty confusing. The first two or three games I played, I had the thought process that this game was way too complicated for a sports game. However, as I continued to play, I realised that once you get used to it, you can really start to be crafty with how you play, and there is nothing more satisfying than pulling off a great high handball than running along the boundary and kicking a banana kick to get a goal. Something that have changed that some of you might like and others won't is the fact that you can't upgrade each player with points after each match. Now instead they level up or down depending on how well they play. There are some things in this game, well let's call them flaws shall we, that, that really draws you away from the realism of the game. An example of this is the fact that AFL Live really revolves around tackling and ball ups. There is an unrealistic amount of both of these which not only stops the play but it isn't enjoyable to play. Something else that I really noticed and that frustrated me quite a lot was the fact that you cannot change the difficulty mid-season. So if it's too easy or too hard you have no option to start again if you really want to challenge yourself. And if you can change the settings then I surely couldn't find it because I looked everywhere. Once you figure out the little things in this game, like the correct camera angles that suit you and learning skills like nudging to take a mark, then the gameplay is really solid. There is only one thing in this game that has actually gotten worse, and that is the commentary. And there isn't much to say about it, but they do repeat themselves a lot. Along with the single match and the AFL season game modes, there is now online gameplay. It plays exactly the same as the single player, but I found it a lot more competitive and enjoyable. After each match, whether you lose or win, you gain experience points which will raise you on the leaderboards. There can be a little lag which is sort of noticeable, but because everyone is in Australia, it doesn't happen too often. If you're not a big AFL fan, then I would suggest you rent this game and try it before you buy it. But if you are a fan, then this game is a must for you. It will give you a chance to make your crap teams in real life premiership winners. I rate this game a good 7 out of 10, and I really suggest you play 10 minute quarters and that way you'll get the real feel of the game.